Today I'm working on replacing a part for this tenant's refrigerator. We put this in about three or four years ago. We've had several tenants in here. And um, the last one let me know, oops, I don't know that we want to see everything they have in their thing, uh, that this piece is broken. So when they go to close it, it won't, it won't shut. So I have to flip it by hand. And when I came in, I found out that this little piece, which goes up here, it rides in a channel and it actually has a spring in it. The new one has a, has a spring action in it. So the thing that's really important about this is the fact that it's, it is wired in and it has a heater in it. And behind here, I was noticing that there is a very large block of ice. And I suspect that's where the, why there was an ice buildup is because this heater piece is not correct. So we're gonna be changing this out. I'm gonna take out these two screws. Um, and there's a little clip in it. We'll take the clip, unhook it, put it in. And these actually slide downward. So when I go to remove it, I'm gonna undo the screws and pop it up. Okay, so let me get started on that. Okay, so this should just loosen up and these should just pull straight up. Assuming nobody's been doing any gluing, which I'm concerned that they have. Look at that, somebody's right there. See that crack? I think my tenant's done a little cover up, trying to say that they didn't have anything to do with it. This part was about $110 when I went to order it. Um, I was able to find it online, um, Amazon. And if you will, take a picture of, right, there's your model number right there. Yeah, I've glued it. If I break that, we won't be able to get it put in. So you can see that they've actually tried to duct tape this piece on top. And like I said, it has a spring in it. So <clears throat> I've got my uh, screws undone. I'm gonna just simply pop this upward and undo it. And then I've got to find, let's close it one time. These actually don't be panicked that they do have a movable hinge in them. It's not, I was concerned that it was broken, but both of them are actually like that. So this is our new one. It's about three feet long, something like that. Yeah, it's about three feet long. Yep. Okay. It has a spring action in it. pricey expense for us to put this in a rental property. This is not a, a normal um, <laughs> refrigerator that you see in a rental property. There it goes. Click. I'm going to insert it back into its hole. Okay, we're going to go line these up at the top.
Too tight, I'm not breaking anything. Okay. Okay. It already closed it in. Okay, so yep. very quickly it just. And it's got a heater in it, which I would imagine that. Things to frost it in, so look at that. Yeah, it's making nice. Okay, what we did today was we changed out the centerpiece between the doors of our Samsung uh, double door refrigerator. It's about a five year old unit, um, and it, the tenant had broken the top of it, so we needed to order one of those and put it in. I was able to get it on Amazon. We'll see if we can put a link for that down below as well as the part number. Okay, it's all done. Thank you now. All right, thank you. Amanda and her crew, they'll show you what to do. So come on down to Creeker's Country Club.